I deliberately select specimens that are, that are natural, beautiful works of art. And that's the sort of thing that impresses people most when they see the collection for the first time. There are about 2,500 uh, fossil specimens in the collection and over 4,000 crystal mineral specimens. I'm very happy as a serious collector that the collection now has a permanent home. Uh, this home is the museum in Bathurst. It will be displayed now into perpetuity. This is the cast of a T-Rex skeleton which I bought in the USA about 20 years ago for over $100,000. When it was delivered to my home, it was stored in a shed. This gave my wife some concern. She had said to get my collection out of the house that was either a divorce or a museum. Of the other fossils, the, the, the crab from Italy, uh, which is perfect three-dimensional and 50 million years old, that's got to be one of my favourite fossils. I often used to uh, take Australian rare and uh, scientifically important specimens overseas to trade with both collectors and with museums and universities. This specimen is a particular favourite of mine. It's a Tasmanian crocoite, which has been one of my best trade material over the years. This is a crystal of rare lead mineral called phosgenite, which I swapped with uh, an Italian museum for a specimen of Tasmanian crocoite. When I first started collecting particularly fossils, there weren't very many restrictions on what you could uh, look for in the field. Things have changed dramatically since then. Uh, fossil localities in national parks or heritage areas are now off limits, and many countries also prohibit the export of fossils from those countries. This is a collection of 70 million year old dinosaur eggs from China, which I got about 25 years ago. China has now legislated against the export of fossils like these, so it's impossible to get a collection like this now legally. This is an important collection of fossils preserved in amber from around the world but the most important specimen in, in this particular display is this gecko in amber from the Dominican Republic that's about 30 million years old. Good crystals of minerals are worth far more than cutting rough that's used for jewellery, for example, and particularly when those crystals are collected still growing on the parent rock, that doubles or trebles the value of the specimen. The initial donation of the collection was valued at between eight and fifteen million dollars, but it would be impossible to replace the, the whole collection for that sort of money nowadays. The display of trilobite fossils that we have is equal to any in the world. Uh, there'd be no better displays of quality trilobites than the ones that we have. There's no end to collecting things like these because there are always specimens that you don't have and you would like to get. And as well as that, there are other new things being found all the time, uh, which you must have.